the average person to sift. Because he gets his information from gossip mostly, and from, did you hear? So at that platform, at that level, there's very little anybody can do. But you see, you also have what you call information power centers. If government communication is focused and consistent, as you are aware, the Federal Ministry of Information has uh, offices across all the local governments. And back in those days, information dissemination about government activities emanated from those platforms. If that is happening, what you will then find is those who are saying, oh, government said this, I don't believe, I don't know. But when government communication is not doing that well, then that's what, you happen, what happens. Now, concerning the opposition of those trying to demarcate the government, in this matter of political communication, jobs are created. The business of the opposition is not to make the government it wants to replace look good. The APC did a fantastic job of opposition, totally demarcated the, the um, um, PDP, made it look ridiculous in every way, unfortunately without being sufficiently informed itself. So in the process of that opposition, he was making claims, which anybody who understood elementary economics will know that they had no idea what they were talking about, one dollar to one naira, etc. But the point to note is that they were effective. The question to then ask is, is the current opposition as effective? The answer is no. Whether you talk Labour Party or PDP, who are in the front row of the opposition, they are not as effective as one would have expected. There's nothing like the shadow cabinet from them. What you hear is press releases, pointing out one thing or the other that's wrong with the policy of government. None of them seems to realize that they ought to hold quarterly rallies to create a cohesion among themselves. If you take, for instance, the... You see, if you look at the PDP, for instance, there's a disposition towards who should we exclude. These are the same people still active. If you look at the age bracket, that will worry you. Look at Labour Party. Labour Party nearly got the presidency based on reputation of one individual and not the party itself. Mm. Is that party building itself today? My perception is that the answer is no. Our obedience being woven into a cohesive group with a central message, the answer is no. They believe in one Nigeria correctly. They believe Peter B would have made a fantastic president. I share that view. But are they preparing for the environment in which they are, which means that you must have somebody in every polling booth to represent you? The answer is no. Are they raising money to create? So, looking at all, it's nice to speak in the media, but you must ask yourself, the media you're using, what is this access? So, first, there's fake news, no question about that, due to general misinformation. Then there's deliberate disinformation by those who want a particular point of view to go out. We can't cry about that. Now, imagine that the government is communicating and the opposition is communicating, all of them effectively. What will then be laid before the Nigerian citizen is alternative points of view to evaluate and decide which one to accept. But when that communication, for instance, is not as clear, I think back to, I was a, a boy, yes? Mbakwe was governor of um, Imo State, the old Imo State. Collins will be lost to him and practically every night on the TV, because one TV belonged to, I think, Abba, or where it was, government TV, the opposition had uh, Abba. Every night there's this address telling us how terrible the government, it gets weary in, it's tiring. Every, well, everything somebody is doing can't be bad just because you're not on his side. So there has to also be improvement in the quality of opposition communication. Mm. Their press releases are too long. They are saying practically, if you take all their releases and since uh, Tinubu became president, you find that there's not less than 60% of what they said before being repeated. And you think by that thing, which nobody really reads, by such incestuous communication, that is addressing yourself as a target of your information output, you're going to become a new government. Incestuous, the where you are. My, my apologies. Yeah. Incestuous, I think, unconsciously I think... so. I think that is really what 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 I am one of the things one one concern. It is one thing to demarcate the government. It's another thing for that image to spill and smear the country itself. How how do we how, where can that we is, is there a balance? There ought to be a balance because if you're in opposition and you're saying the government is not doing well, you have the further duty of saying what the government could have done better. 
When you do that, even the man looking at you from outside will say, oh, this person has the right idea, uh, this party. You know, from the opposition, we see they know what to do. But when you make it your business to limit yourself to just saying everything bad about your country, question, is there any nation that doesn't have something bad about it? The answer is no. And that's where I think, and I believe the National Orientation Agency is trying to do something about that. That's why I think that uh, activists, uh, some NGOs and all of that, they need some level of enlightenment on national interest communication. Mm. When you concentrate only, you can always find something bad in a, in a situation. And that's what you do. And of course, you find that some of them are not really activists, but cash activists. They get paid to be active. And so they make all the speeches to make those who pay them happy. Those are some of the challenges. So when communication objective is unclear, what happens is that you keep talking to the head without okay. asking yourself in the... Because all those who talk to them, give them any responsibility and see what they will make of it. How are they running their own organizations, even if it's made up of 15 people? So that government has also... Any government is not about any government. has also know how to be bullish and aggressive in communication without being rude or impudent. Evidence-based okay. counter-communication would make all the difference. Absolutely.